Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Scout Prepper channel. I've done the USMC ILBE backpack and everybody wanted to see the Molly 2 from the Army. Kind of an Army versus Marine Corps. Hey, no problem. I showed you about five days ago, three days ago, the uh, Army's assault pack that goes with this. It's also in digital ACU gray camo. So here it is, the big pack. And I will tell you now, I like it. I took this out at Thanksgiving. I got it last week. I took it out at Thanksgiving when I went to the Deer Lease. I loaded all my gear in it. It had more room than I needed by far. It did really well and it's surprisingly comfortable. So I like the backpack. A little bit of specs on it. Right now on most, uh, Army, in most Army Navy stores, on eBay, all that kind of stuff, these are on the market pretty heavy and you can find them for about $69. Sometimes 69 plus shipping, so you may get to 80, stuff like that, 85, but generally a great backpack for the money. It is coming in cheaper than the Arcteryx or proper made Marine Corps ILBE that I've already reviewed in, which is in a Marpack camo. So this one's a little cheaper, but this one is an, this is an external rucksack, external frame rucksack, whereas the Marine Corps pack a lot more sophisticated and it's an internal frame pack has those aluminum stays up the spine this is an external frame pack and what I mean by that there's the frame if you can see it okay here's the frame right here see these rails see the top of the frame on here your pack straps to it and it's actually literally a plastic frame and don't get wrapped around the axles about plastic it's polymer okay it's not plastic that's a better word for it that makes people less nervous. But hey, guns are made out of it today, so why not a backpack frame? I've never seen one break. I'm sure it's happened, but they throw people out of planes with these, so it holds up well. I think we're okay. I'm not worried about the plastic, but it is external frame. However, I'll say that in my experience with these pads, on the butt pad here, covers the whole bottom. You see that it raises it. See, it's the same level as my hand down on the frame. This is higher than this. Uh, and with the with the super thick, even thicker than this backpack, I never hit the frame. It never hurt me. It was amazingly comfortable. The backpack straps are articulated real well, and it works for me. This is a cool pack. So let me show you. I've already shown you the frame. It does have a hip belt that is padded, and I'll say, and it seems to be something common that I didn't know, but these buckles are worn out a lot. So a lot of times when you get these, you got to watch that. I'll, let me show you what I'm talking about. Did you see that? It's locked in. It clicks, but when you pull, it, it comes apart. There it goes. You don't even have to push the button. A lot of these are worn out, but I told the guy that I bought this from on eBay about it, and lo and behold, he was real cool about it. Super nice guy. Immediately sent me another one, and I had it in about three days. So it wasn't a showstopper at all. Uh, just be aware that it could happen. If you remember the old Alice packs, you'll remember the quick release straps. Can you see that there? And this is the same thing. You pop the top and the strap comes off. That's all you do. You pull up on this and it releases this. So you put it back in, snap it back down. It's got a quick pull on there, which you can activate accidentally if you get this caught on something. It could pull your backpack strap off. It also has, you pull up here on this big metal tab, you just pull up and it instantly lets this strap out. I like that. It's a lot faster than getting a fast text buckle, you know, and trying to lift and getting it to open up. So if you need this to adjust out real quick, this is a super fast system. Uh, other than that, it attaches to the pack with a series of uh, tie downs all around the thing, plus these tie down. Everything's pretty rugged. I like it. It also has load lifters up here. So just like on your modern packs, if you pull this, it pulls the pulls your shoulders into the pack a little bit to get the weight towards you instead of it hanging backwards on you. And that's just something for a balance thing and a comfort thing. On the top is a super awesome, though not double reinforced like a lot of straps, but it is an awesome carry handle. And this is generally how I've been carrying the pack around before you put it on. You just want to move it around in camp or you want to move it around in the house or whatever. I've been grabbing it by the handle. You'll notice that most rucksacks are one big old pocket just like the Marine Corps ILBE is one big pocket, but guess what? It's not. This rucksack is two pockets, and I understand that it's hard to see because it's camo, which kind of blurs the lines, but as you'll see, I'll undo these. Everything has straps. It's military-based, and you have the huge main compartment here, 
And this, if you can follow this outline on the camo, this is a sleeping bag compartment. It perfectly fits the modular sleep system, which I've already reviewed, but the military's modular sleep system goes right in there. Or, of course, you can use whatever sleeping bag you want, but I like this. It has molly webbing all over the front, as you see, and all down the sides, and all on the front of this, so you can strap down just about whatever. To show you that, I threw on two double AR mag pouches, or M16 mag pouches, and I threw on an IFAC pouch, which is an individual first aid kit, or improved first aid kit, depending on which branch you serve in. So, a first aid kit pouch, and uh, two mag pouches, for example, here. Also in the front is a really cool map pocket from the Army. Look at there, I got me a U.S. Army name tape. I didn't even see that. Keeping that. Um, so, you know, how cool is that? And this did serve. You know, this is, here's the guy's unit right here on mine. Most of them say U.S. real big. Mine didn't. I wish it did. It showed it in the picture. But still a cool pack. Definite military surplus. So I like the map pocket. And this can also be, you know, if you're thinking hiking, or hunting or whatever. This could also be your fire kit, your toiletries, things like that. Maybe you've got a flashlight up in there or something. The sky's the limit. But it is a uh, pretty easy to get to and, and well protected because it's under the lid map pocket. Okay. If you notice, I said it's two main pouches. Probably the first thing you picked up on is what the heck is that? Okay, on each side I put on the with the molly webbing see the straps there i put on what's called a sustainment pouch by the government okay i have two of them one on each side and it's designed you see it says us which is cool it's designed to hold mre pouches and depending on how you cram it's normally a three mre deal it also had not only does it have this buckle top it also has a drawstring in here to cinch out the top so this could be awesome for your cook kit could be awesome for uh, full water bottles or your water treatment system or what have you. This is a neat, quick access pouch, I'm going to tell you now. And I got mine free with the pack. So my pack included the sustainment pouches. You can find them pretty cheap if, you don't, if yours doesn't come with one. But highly recommend the sustainment pouches, even if you only use one. Or you just come, they come with your pack and you don't put them on the sides. You can throw them down in there and put gear in them. So now they're just little organizers for your gear. I'm liking that. Also on this side, if you'll see, I put another sustainment pouch. You can see that's this. But what's this down here? Well, most of you know, it's a one quart canteen. And it has the little cinches as well. Army is great about straps and cinches. Everything's cinched down. Everything's strapped in its place. Uh, Marine Corps too. Don't get me wrong. Navy too. You know, all the armed forces, the Air Force. So uh, the military likes your straps. So this is a one quart GI based canteen. I got it for four dollars because it had it was brand new. I'm uh, sorry, three dollars. It was brand new, and the, I got another one for two dollars because it was used, but you couldn't tell. Now with this, I also showing you that it fits, even though it's sticking on me. The military's canteen cup, which is a little old school. But surplus, so pretty cheap. You can normally find these about $8.95. I put in the canteen cup right there. One of the handles came out of me. So it's got the foldable handles. And if you notice on there, I went with the stove. So you put this down with a trioxane or a wet fire or a little bitty whatever inside there's a fire. You put this on top and it heats up your water. You can boil water on this basically. Or uh, in the back in the day, you could heat a meal or what have you, even though today, your stuff's flameless MREs, you know, with the little water deal. So a neat little water system. These are somewhere between 20 and 40, whatever you can find, but the canteen, the cup, and the stove, and the case are normally 20 to $40, just a little side note there. And I put that on the outside because I don't like hydration bladders very much. So you can put the one quarter, the two quart canteens on here because all the molly webbing, and it's quick to get to. I can reach from the pack on my back I can just reach over with my right hand, undo that, grab the canteen, take a drink, put it back in. So, how big is this thing? Well, it's bigger than the Marine Corps' ILBE main pack. Although that has an assault pack that goes on the front that's 1,500 cubic inches and it's a 4,500 cubic inch pack. This is a 5,000 cubic inch large rucksack. And it is just that huge rucksack. In there I've got a gray pack cover, which is really big, wadded up. To show you, I've got an ACU military-based poncho, or military poncho, USGI poncho. 
and it didn't even take up any of this thing. So those are two somewhat big items, and there's plenty of space still in there. If you'll notice this divider, which you've probably seen in other videos, this divider has a big zipper, and you can literally zip or unzip to like make this one huge bucket or a top and a bottom. I like the top and the bottom so that your gear's in the top, maybe even your heavier stuff, and then your sleeve system can remain separated in the bottom. So very cool. Of course it's got a drawstring to cinch up the top, keep stuff out. Plus of course the flap that has straps as well, the top cover. This top cover is attached permanently, whereas the Marine Corps top cover has a little more to it, uh, a little more sophisticated, and it's removable with buckles. But remember that also means the buckles can break and you can lose it. So, you know, uh, here and there, it depends on your personal preferences. This one's a little less sophisticated but permanently attached and a little more rugged. The Marine Corps stuff, a little more sophisticated, but you could break it or lose it. Uh, although, you know, what kind of guy loses the top to his pack? So I'm just going to throw that in there too. you got to have some common sense here. Okay, so I put in here, you'll see another strap. Straps all over. It's a military pack. Another strap to show you the sleep system compartment. I put a pillow in here just to blow it up real good. It has one zipper, for whatever reason, that runs the length. If you'll notice, these are huge zippers. The teeth and the zipper pulls and the zipper and everything. Just monstrous uh, in size. That's a huge zipper right there. But the zipper goes all the way around. I would have liked to have seen two that you could do half and half. You know, but it didn't come that way, and of course I'm not the military. This is a surplus item. You take it, you take what you get. Now in here, I put a king-size pillow, huge pillow, and it fit right in there. I just did that to give the pack some volume and to show you how big that sleeping compartment is. It's really about half the pack, so very nice. Everything's real rugged. It's all, it feels like a thousand denier. Everything's super rugged, as you would expect from military. It doesn't have a hard bottom on it, but it is an external frame pack. And the pack doesn't quite go down as bottom as low as the frame, so you're okay there. Um, though I would have, again, not that I could have picked this pack, but I would have liked to have seen something a little more heavy duty on the very bottom of it. All in all, a great pack. I love it. I think it's $69 with the sustainment pouches. Uh, the mag pouches and stuff I added on different, but it did. It did come with the canteen pouch. I just added the canteen gear inside of it. $69, a great value. Again, surplus stuff is the way to go if you're looking for some great gear that's super rugged, really above average rugged, more than the civilian market, and a, and a great price. Guys, I hope you like this Alice pack, or the uh, Molly 2 pack. We're going to go with Alice packs next, and then we'll show, I plan on doing a, a video uh, within the next couple weeks, of Marine Corps ILBE versus Army's Molly 2 versus the old Alice packs, which are used both in the Army and the Marine Corps. Kind of see the old school uh, Vietnam through the uh, through Desert Storm and through today. See how the packs have changed. They've gone from Alice systems to Pal Molly and then Pals and how modular they are. I think we'll like that video. Everybody likes Army versus Marine Corps. So as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate the views. Check us out on the web at scouttactical.com. Check out the Scout Prepper channel, the second channel in the Scout Tactical Network, on Facebook at uh, Scout Prepper. And as always, thanks for watching.